Hello and welcome to another Cheeky Blog Highlight video. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist. And today, today's blog that was just released, um, the title of it is related to why your PI can't get you an industry job. And really it should be called why a lifetime academic cannot help you get an industry job. A lot of us, and myself included, um, we think that the people that we're working with, our mentors in academia, are going to be well connected outside of academia. Um, but there's a reason they call it the ivory tower, because it's far removed from just about everything else, including industry. Now, of course, the walls between industry and, uh, and academia are down a bit, but people who have been lifetime academics, uh, usually they know people, uh, uh, the people in their unique field in academia, right? Because in academia, we over-specialize, uh, but in industry, they don't know many people. And when I started applying for jobs, uh, you know, when I was graduating, uh, getting my PhD, I thought, oh, surely my PI will have connections for me. Even if he doesn't, my thesis committee uh, thesis committee uh, members will know people in industry that they can connect me to. Um, but this turned out not to be true. My PI knew nobody. Zero. Goose egg. My thesis committee, one of them knew somebody who was doing an, industri an industrial postdoc, but I didn't want to do an industrial postdoc. Uh, so, don't, do not rely on other people for your job search. And this was a good lesson overall. It was a good lesson for me. You need to put your career into your own hands. You need to realize that you are going to be responsible for making those connections with people in industry. You're going to be responsible for building up your industry credibility through your industry connections and, and, and go, getting referrals. And really, this just happens, all this requires is your ability to reach out to people, to get introduced, to add value, and then to eventually ask for something politely. That's all. Um, so it's really important for you to understand that lifetime academics cannot help you get hired. Here's why. It's because over 50% of PhD level jobs are filled through internal referrals. What do I mean by internal? I mean by people working at those companies. So if you want to get a job at Pfizer, your best chance for getting hired at Pfizer or whether it's Dow Chemical or Intel or Google or Apple or whoever you want to work for, if you want to get a job there, your best chance is getting referred by another employee who's already working there. So how do you make that happen? Why would they help you? Because in, there's an employee referral system at most companies. Over 95% of companies have an employee referral system, which means that they refer somebody, a job candidate who gets hired, they get a large bonus, anywhere from $500 up to $5,000, depending on the company, depending on the position. So they want to help you get hired. Okay. Another thing to keep in mind, industry does not care about a recommendation letter from your PI or from your thesis committee. Right? We're taught in academia that recommendation letters are everything, just like publications. Right? They make or break your entire career. If you don't get a recommendation letter, your career is over. Not the case in industry. In fact, industry cares very little about recommendations. Now, employee referrals, crucial. Referrals from someone that both people know, right? These shared referrals, right? So if an employee knows you and they know the employer, that's crucial. But a recommendation from somebody who just knows you, who could just be like a friend that you told to say that was your manager or whatever, right? These things don't matter in industry. Um, at, at the most, most companies, they'll call one or two people on your recommendation list, uh, people who have known you for a very long time. They're not trying to speak to your PI, okay? I mean, what is your, what is your PI or some lifetime academic going to say to help you? In most cases, not very much because they have an academic mindset, not an industry mindset. And then third and finally, this blog is going to talk about why PIs can't help you because they're focused on surviving in academia, not maintaining, maintaining an industry network. Let's face it, things in academia are tough. If you want to survive, you have to publish, go after grants, focus on your small, tiny academic network in your very, very over-specialized niche, niche field. That means you're spending all your time doing that and you're not building up an industry network. So it's not like PIs, lifetime academics, your thesis committee are going to have this amazing network of people in industry. Chances are they're not going to know anybody. And so again, you need to take your network, your career into your own hands. So no matter where you are in your job search, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.